next uh, three years, we had two different teams, and they produced about 15. Um, yes, there's a problem with offshore a little bit, and then there was a problem, you know, have, you're just Googling for your answers here, so anyway. Yep, basically we need a lot of my classes. <laughs> so that's why I, I, I'm obsessed with IntelliSense. And one of the things I was trying to get uh, to work with C Sharp on um, Raspberry Pi, mm -hmm. but um, that failed. IntelliSense and C Sharp. What? IntelliSense and C Sharp. It, but it, that it has work. it, but when you do remote programming, um, they decided not to support that. The Microsoft team, you know, I talked to someone at Microsoft, a group, and they said they didn't have any idea if they were going to work on it. It wasn't a high priority. And so you didn't have IntelliSense. And like, at that point, like, well, then never mind. <laughs> but there's also issues with hardware. A lot of your uh, functions or, you know, if you want to look up, like, how do I use HCSRO4 for range detection? You're not going to get an example in C Sharp. So uh, you get it in Python, then you get to convert it. And, and so you know, I, I decided not to go down that route. But with intelligence, now finally I can be calmer now. And this is on, you know, a micro Python uh, device. So that's awesome. So, um, oh, by the way, uh, if you go look at the uh, videos. You go MicroPython. Let's see if I can. There we go. Videos on okay. MicroPython. Yeah, there's uh, there's one guy who's uh, explaining computers. There's another guy who's uh, well, I forgot. What's this? Drumbot. They're very popular with Arduino or doing hardware, and they're showing working with MicroPython on Raspberry Pi Pico. And you'll notice they don't type the code. They just like magically like, oh, here's your code. And I can tell you why they're doing that because they are battling for a couple hours trying to write the code, mistyping, looking it up, and it's not a good exposure. You know, a lot of times when these uh, in other types of videos where it's just focused on developing and if they have intelligence, they'll just type it right there, showing that they actually know what they're doing. Um, but in this example, you, there is no IntelliSense with Donnie. Um, so, but anyways, that's my, uh, my excitement about this. All right. Maybe I'll show you a couple of other things we can look up. Um, oh, we've done time or pin, right? Um, so, I think this will tell us a pin. So we've declared a variable pin, small pin, equals the uh, large pin, which is actually just, uh, what was it? Assigning an object that's, or creating an object called pin that allows us to uh, work with it, get, uh, putting output or put input. But now we can see we can set up like an IRQ, which I'll uh, kind of go over that again. I did that last lesson or last, or lesson before. What's an IRQ again? I, I'll, I'll go over it a little bit. Uh, not, not yet, but it's just an interrupter. But the, what I'm pointing out here is you know what you can do with something. So this pin is a special object. It has methods on it. It has um, values maybe assigned to that. We, we can turn it on, we can turn it off if we set an output. But that's what IntelliSense gives us. It means we keep our fingers on the keyboard and, and you can keep on working rather than grab your mouse, let's go over to Chrome browser, let's Google, you know, type in some Google command, uh, Googling and it wastes a lot of time with that. So anyways, all right. Um, got all that. All right. All right, let me just... Sorry, what's going on here? Don't mean to go forward.
Yes. Do you have a boy in the notebook there? No, he didn't show up. He didn't show up? Okay. Thank you. All right. Full screen, but all right. Maybe running late or got Thursday confused. All right. Um, so I got gone over the issue there. Oh, it has no intelligence. Um, so um, now that my project has the Pico stub as well. I mean, we don't have to think about it, but what happens is it then all of a sudden changes my folder structure, or just brings in a whole bunch of files, and it's going to mark my GitHub section saying I have all these new files. Now remember I have in GitHub, my repository, I have all the files I created, but when I added that, ex that fix that extension, it brought in other stuff, and I just I don't want to store that away. I don't want to store that into my repository. So to ex to exclude that, we uh, uh, add a special file called git ignore. Git ignore. Yeah, it just makes it a little bit nicer. Otherwise, what would happen is uh, if we go to my repository. So this is my project here. I got all these files. If I did not put modify that git ignore, I would have probably another 70 files under a special folder called uh, Pico stub, which I didn't create. And, and I just want to keep it simple and clean. So. Anyways, um, so I just, there's, there's a special file called um, get ignore, and then within that I say what folder I want to ignore, just to get everything under, underneath that. Don't have to memorize this or whatnot, I'm just kind of just give you a little review of what's there. All right, we'll, we'll, get, to we'll get to hardware in a little bit here. Um, okay, back to the slides. Um, so, the nice thing, uh, previously, um, I think Roy, I forget how Matt did it, you downloaded all the source code from that repository using um, a zip folder where you download them. If you go the other route and install Git software onto your machine, the nice thing there is when I, I modify a file, um, it's very easy for you to retrieve that one file. Because Visual Studio Code will uh, allow you to get latest or do a pull. And so, and if I enable it, I, I can enable everyone to upload your code. So we can work as a team. I make one little uh, change, then you make a change, and then we can build quickly. But anyways. So we already have that downloaded? I don't. Well, you download my code, but I don't think you installed Git. That's, uh, Git is another application um, well, that, for source control code. Uh, so I'll just Google Git? Yeah. Um, I would, yeah, download Git. So there's Windows Git. Yep. So if you look at the uh, screen, I meant. Yeah, the screen. Yeah. So the, you got uh, oh, you get clients. Yeah. You got Windows. Oh shit! Where's the urban Wi-Fi? There it is. So anyways, um, it's not required. I mean, you can re you can go to my repo, look at it, and you can copy it, you know, just retype it in, or you can keep on just downloading the Windows zip. But uh, for full on development for Teams, it gets very useful. And uh, all right, so I want to download Git. I got that. Let's see if I can get on there and actually physically do it. But anyways. Um, All right, um, let me move over 
to, you know, or cover boot modes. Um, let me try to plug in a new Raspberry Pi Pico, because this one's toast, I think. So you're still using a smartphone now? I forgot how to get on the internet, apparently. All right, hopefully this is worked here. Please don't call me like that again. All right, this one seems to connect it quickly. Hello. Hello. Here's your Caleb's. Take his name. Take his what you need. Okay. So I'll just give a uh, quick re recap. So today we're going to be powering the Pico off the cable. Um, I fried one one chip, uh, one controller. I plugged in to the wrong pin. Uh, I think that's it. So Did I'm you blow it? Up. What? Did you blow it? I think so. Oh. But luckily, it's only four bucks. <laughs> um, the documentation here um, was well, I didn't list the D bus as a source from output. And anyways, um, I'll plug in differently this time. Um, good news. Figure out the IntelliSense. Oh, you did. So we have it. So, oh. um, so I just went on a 15-minute, 20-minute rant on IntelliSense again without it. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm obsessed with it. It's, hey, I get it. I certainly so, get it. Um, now I can't, I'm just, pro, can't be a good programmer unless you're obsessed. Yeah. So, like here, we can go pin dot. <gasps> we got all our options. We're not the Google. That. So I can set up an, an interrupt here or. Now this this list there, or if I want to go uh, new time, what do I have here? So I can get the local time. I can sleep for milliseconds. I can, you know, I don't have to go Google. So, anyways, so right now, plug in here. I got connected. Let's see uh, if I can upload all my files. I'll Now, I'm forgetting what I put on here before, um, but I don't think I, I had all these files. So I'm, I'm hoping to see everything be written up here, but it only seems it's done one file. 